Hello my sweet YouTubers, I hope you're all fine and doing absolutely fabulous. Look at me, natural woman, very natural makeup. Oh, I have to take my, my mirror, my God, you don't believe how crazy I got doing this makeup. The idea was to create another crossdresser makeup or trans makeup. I told you that I was going to use just a little bit of makeup. Anyway, I'm very proud because I'm not wearing uh, false eyelashes. They are my natural lashes. And of course, I went with dark colors. I used this fabulous palette by MAC, Basic Bitch. Mm, what about that? It's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous palette with really the basic. And uh, that's what I did. I was confused in the beginning, but in the end, you know what? It's not that bad uh, and I do hope that I can help you guys yeah because last week I got a beautiful message from someone across the asset saying that my video my previous video check it here uh, helped her a lot with the tips I gave her and uh, you know for me this is the best thing I can get here it's when someone writes me saying that they got some help that's a very good thing. You know, my thing is not cross dress or trans makeup. My thing is drag queen makeup, which means a lot of colors, a lot of black, a lot of false eyelash, a lot of everything. But for me, this was a challenge. Last week was a challenge. This one was a challenge. And I think it's not that bad. It could be worse. What do you think now? Now I'm gonna show you how I did it. You will see that I got lost. From time to time I was lost. But the final results are not that bad. Okay, let's start. And before, what I did was, you know, I shaved. I used a lot of cream to protect my skin. And I used a product by Benai. This one is a creamy product. It's kind of orange, uh, brown orange, and uh, just to cover the beard and under the eyes where I have black eyes always. And you know, this helps a lot. Check the video here and you will see the previous video I did. You will understand everything I did. What I do now is, I will make, because I don't take off the hair, so it's pretty, how do you say, hairy, my eyebrows. I will comb a little bit. And I decided also I'm gonna use a dark wig. I will take a pencil, white, white. And I go, oh my god, what is this? under it and on the top of it you know I, I will give already the shape look it looks like a clown I know but it's not It's because, like this, I'm gonna get the eyebrows uh, thinner. It looks like it's thinner. Because you know, some crossdresser they don't take the hair also off. They don't shave. They, it's very hairy. And if you don't feel like you know um, using glue and wax like all the drag queens do. This is going to help you. Okay. But don't you worry, you're gonna blend this, huh? Because I don't want you to look like a clown. And this white is pencil is by MAC. Very good one. And also like this, you get already the, the shape of your eyebrows. Now I'm gonna blend it. Can you see the difference? This is a, a blending. 
you know I already have the shape and this is before I use the foundation okay and also before using some dark on my eyebrows I'm also testing I've never done this before I mean I've done it but not like that for cross dress and makeup And I was so happy this week, I got a message from a cross-dresser saying that the video I did last week helped him a lot, helped her a lot. And she said after she finished the makeup, she felt that she was beautiful. And you know what? I just loved this message. Because that's what I mean when I do a video. It's not ju just to uh, share something, it's just because I love it. And if I'm helping someone, it's wonderful. So thank you so much for your comment. So let's get some shape here. And with a little bit of black, just a little bit in the center, you follow the shape of the eyebrows but just in the center, okay? You don't have to press it very strong, you know what I mean? Because you're gonna blend it. And don't come to, to the inner corners. Start more or less in the center do your curve here, follow the natural shape. But don't go to the beginning, you know? And now you're gonna blend it and br bring this black all you can use powder if you want also. It I think it's going to work. You know what, I should have start this be after, before I should do my foundation. You know, I think it was going to be easier because now I have to use the powder, I just realized that. But anyway, we will get it right. So, do your foundation. I told you, the best foundation when you are a very hairy person, if you are a man trying drag makeup, cross dress, or if you're just in the beginning of your transition and you still have this hair, hairy area, you will need something thick and Cryolan is the best one. It's really thick and it covers everything. So you have to use a lot of product in, right in this area where you've got a lot of hair because you must get rid of it and this is a very creamy makeup and it will do the job believe me so up here you don't need a lot also here but where you have hair yes a lot that's what I do I also use a little bit here where you have hair Now let's blend it. So you see, um, now you take a flat and angled brush and you will mix the foundation with the white. You're gonna kind of blend it to make it, you know, more discreet. You can go really close. You see? And blend with the foundation because you still didn't use powder. You can also get some foundation in the flat brush, flat and angle. 
painting from So powder is very very important because you're gonna set all this greasy makeup and it's gonna take away the you know this this shining effect everything will become matte and it gives also a little bit of texture you know more like skin and press it really where you have all this area where you have the beard you can even beat it beat it i like better this eyebrow last week was not very very nice but this one is cool what i did here was i used the white the white pencil and all under all my eyes and i blend it with my fingers just to bring some you know really white color here so my my base is gonna be um, with like a paper without color so the colors will fix very very well there is an helicopter here because you know I live not far from the European par Parliament here in Brussels the um, European community also so all the meetings they do here in Brussels with important people it's right here and you have those helicopters going all the time because they are very important people Hmm. So now, set a little bit with powder or with a little brush. And you can use a little brush, of course you can. I have a surprise for you. I'm gonna use my Basic Bitch palette by MAC. I got as a present when I went there a few weeks ago. If you didn't see the video, check here. Have fun. I had great fun there. I was with my brother. My brother was teaching how to do um, drag makeup and I went there to help them out. It was really, really cool. And they gave me this gorgeous palette. So what I did, I used... The names are very, very funny, but I lost the paper. There is a plastic with the, namer, with the names on the top of it. But it's a very cute and it's extremely basic because the basic colors are here. Highlight and uh, like a reddish one and some grays, very uh, soft grays, some shimmery, very very cool. I used this one on the top, a very light one, on the top of the white I used. So it's a kind of gray, soft gray, but you know it broke the white I, I, I did here. What I'm doing, I'm using the gray one we've got here. I told you my eyes are extremely hot, extremely hot. So what I do is I go to the outer corner. When I close, you see my lid almost disappear so what I do is from the outer corner I will bring towards the inner corner but following the natural you know if you look like this you see the natural curve you just go a little bit above and you add your color see look like a panda From the outer corner you bring towards the center, the inner corner and you do this arch because when you close look 
when I look right in front of the camera, if I do this, you can see what I did, you know? Now you blend it. As you blend, you're gonna lose the color and you come back a little bit more on the other corner and you bring, start bringing it towards the inner corner, but just about the half of the eye. And you do a kind of V here, like a V. Now, I'm gonna get this color here. It's very shimmery, very, very shimmery. And I'm gonna add it right in the center of my lid. Look. Cool. Now the reddish color, the like purple outer corner. And do a kind of you put in the outer corner, and you bring it towards the center of the eyes. And you do the V, the famous V. It's really a V. Up and down, up and down, up and down. You see? And you also blend with your, you, ha, you must have a very fluffy brush to blend. Go to the shop, when you go to the shop, you will say, I want a brush to blend my makeup. Hmm, very soft. Now the dark one, I will take a very flat brush and I will give a touch in the outer corner of my eyes. That's all. And I will bring it and blend it. And on the top also, you can already give the line for your future eyeliner, you know? You see? More drama towards the outer corner. So my darlings, I decided to, to change this technique because I told you my eyes are so hot, the skin is falling down. So what I'm doing, I took the black, the black, the black pencil. I will push a little bit of my eyes like this, but it's, it's changed because I don't see very well. I will pull it. I started doing the eyeliner and I realized that it's not working. So from the outer corner, I'm gonna bring it. I will complete this black. Look. Right in the corner. A little bit. And I will follow the the shape of my eye. Like I was doing a eyeliner. Eyeliner, sorry. You follow this skin. 
just like you were doing on an eyeliner. Sorry, you can do it slowly, really, on the base of the hair. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 